Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to replace your faulty, cracked, or damaged Game Boy Advance screen. So I managed to find a new screen on eBay. I only paid two pounds for it, and it was actually in really good condition. It was second hand, but it doesn't really matter. So what you need to do is you need to remove your batteries and cartridge from your Game Boy Advance. Then you need to get a screwdriver and remove the six screws which are holding the back housing on. Once these screws are removed, you can just pull the back housing off, it should come off really easily. On the motherboard, there's a small ribbon cable that connects the screen to the motherboard. Pull these two plastic pegs and then the ribbon cable should just slide out. Next, there are three screws holding the motherboard in. You want to take those off. Once those screws are out, the motherboard should just pull out really easily. Once the motherboard's out, you can start removing the buttons if you wish. You don't have to, but it's much easier when it comes to taking the screen out. Next, pull the bit of um, foam that's stuck to the back of the screen. As you can see, it's just the screen in the housing now. You can use a heat gun if you wish to loosen the glue, this makes it a lot easier just to pull the screen out. You don't have to be too careful while taking the screen out seeing as it is already damaged, but if you want to keep it you might want to take a bit of care and use just a plastic tool. Here are both the screens, the old damaged one compared to the new um, working one. The one I have already has a bit of sticky plastic in, so I'm just going to stick it straight into the case with the piece of foam on the back. Then I'm going to add the buttons back in. Then place the motherboard on top. Screw the motherboard back together. where you need to enter your screen ribbon cable into the motherboard and make sure you push those two pegs down. Next the plastic back can just clip on, make sure it's all the buttons are secure and then you can just put the six screws in it to hold it in place. Now you can put your batteries and cartridge back in and see if your new screen's working. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.